first things first, again, what do we want? Let's highlight that right here. How much did Kevin, how much did Kevin pay in taxes? Okay, let's get into that. How much did Kevin pay in taxes? So if you look at your answer choices, notice that those are dollar signs, right? So it looks like what we're looking for here is again, the taxes, how much in taxes we have a dollar amount. So for everybody here, is it understandable that the question says, how much did Kevin pay in taxes? Notice how it doesn't say, how much did Kevin pay in total? Two different things, right? You have to know what you're looking for. Remember, you should have this written down in your notes. The notes say we have the original, then we have the amount of the tax, the percent of the tax, and the final amount. Which one of those are we looking for here? It says, how much did Kevin pay in taxes? So we're looking for the taxes, not the original, not the final, but the tax, and it's the amount because you see it's the dollar amount. Yes or no, everybody? Do we see that now? We're looking for the amounts, the dollar amount of the tax. Okay. So again, I really want to be careful because here again, it's so important we go through the reasoning because that's the difference between getting the problem right now and then not just freezing on the next one, but actually knowing what you're looking for and doing in the next one too. It's Cyber Monday, my ASVAB party people. And like every Monday, we have a free ASVAB class for you to join at 6 p.m. Eastern for two hours. Tonight's topic is on ASVAB unit conversion word problems. And because it is Cyber Monday, it is the last day to secure your massive discount to our full program. That means you can get rid of the test anxiety and the ASVAB nervousness by unlocking every advantage we offer to watch, practice, and master your way to the score and job you want. That means all the classes, all the recordings, and over 10,000 practice problems to build your confidence the right way. So click the link in the description of the video to register for the free class, or if you know that you need ASVAB help now, then don't hesitate. Take advantage of our biggest sale of the year by signing up for the full program at a fraction of the cost. The military job you want is waiting for you, so sign up now and guarantee control of your career. So with that said, great, we're looking for the dollar amount in taxes. Number two. Let's go ahead and understand what information we have. So let me go ahead and grab this color here. See if I can. Nah, that's not really that legible, so I'm not going to go with it. I'm going to go with a little orange here. Actually, I'm just going to go with black just to keep things simple here. So step two, what information do we have? Well, let's go ahead and go through the information, everybody. We see that Kevin bought a camera for 609. Then it says plus the tax. So it's like, here's the amount and we add the tax on top of that. So everybody, what does that sound like to you? The $609, what does that represent to you? What does that represent to you? Right, the price tag amount, right? The original amount, that's absolutely correct. Notice it says, hey, Kevin bought a camera for this much money, plus some tax. So what that means is it was this much, and now we're paying some taxes on top of that. And so that's the original amount. That right there is the original amount. That right there is the original amount. We gotta make sure we understand and see that because it says that then we're then applying the tax on top of it. And so everyone, that 10% that we see, what does that represent? Right, that represents the, the percent of the tax. Yeah, that represents the percent of the tax. percent of the tax. That's it right there. Absolutely. So we're looking for the amount of the tax and we have the percent of the tax. Let me ask a quick question here, everybody. Let me just write down both of these ideas and I'm going to have you select A or B. So A, should we go ahead What? So basically what I'm going to ask is what is our setup going to look like? Should our setup look like A, 
taking 10% of $609 or B, doing 100% plus 10%. So 110% of the $609. Set up A or set up B? Which one should be the way we would go to get the final answer? which is going to be the amount of the tax. I love that. We're still debating this, but I love that. It's swinging in the right direction here. So let's go ahead and understand the difference between A and B here, everybody. This is the main point that I was trying to address in the beginning of class. We have to understand the difference between what you, knowing what you're looking for and how to get there. So... We said, again, the percent that you apply is the percent that represents the result. So let me just show you again right here. The percent you apply is the amount that you'll get. So let me just correct what I said there. So again, the percent you apply is the amount that you'll get. So let's understand what these percents represent. Everybody, the 10% here, this represents the percent of the tax, correct? Yes or no? The 10% there, that represents the tax, right? So what that means is when you solve this, this is going to represent the dollar amount of the tax. If we slide over here and go to B, well, guess what? What we are looking at here is this. We have the original plus the tax. And both of these together will give you the final amount, right? So let me go ahead and actually write that down a little lower here. This is your final cost per, as a percent. So that means when you set this up and solve, you'll get the final cost so what you pay at checkout everybody we said which one we're we looking for are we looking for the amount of the tax or the final cost what are we looking for which one are we looking for here we're trying to get the amount of the tax right and because we're looking for the amount of the tax we only want to apply the percent of the tax if we wanted the final amount, then we would go 100% plus 10%, and we would do that 110% to get the grand total. So again, how you set up your formula is really going to go ahead and be derived from what you're trying to find. So with that, boom. Right there, Nadia, I heard you. I hope you're feeling better. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. So here, let's go ahead and go to A, because this is going to give us the amount of the tax. Everyone, here we go. What is the decimal that I should write here? Yeah, Kai, we could do B with extra steps, but you would have to, once you calculate that, then subtract the 609 from that, and then you will get the amount. But it would be extra steps for no reason when you could just apply the percent of the tax. And so remember, starting from here, one, two, boom, 0 0.10, which is the same thing as 0 0.1. They're the same thing, same thing. And so we will multiply that by 609. And let's figure out what that is. Let's be real, my ASVAB party people. You're enjoying this YouTube video, but why don't you join me for a free class? I host a free class once a week for two hours. So imagine two hours of free ASVAB math instruction by yours truly, where you get to ask questions, grow with me, raise your score, and get the job you want. So go ahead, click the link here or in the description to sign up for free. And from there, I'll see you in the next class. But until then, let's get back to the math party. This is going to be pretty straightforward here because we're going to have 609 multiplied by 0 0.1. Let's get it done. Let's get that working. So 9 times 1 is going to be 9. 0 times 1 is going to be 0. 6 times 1 is going to be 6. Wow, that's pretty easy, right? And then from here, how many decimal places would we move back? Right, that would be one decimal place only, right there. 
boom, and that would be $60.90. That would be the amount of the tax. That would be the amount of the tax right there. So you see how that would get you the final answer right there straight away. You don't have to, you know, accidentally, if you applied that 10% to the 100%, you don't have to find the final and then subtract back. You can still get the right answer. But remember that the ASVAB is about getting it done in the least amount of time possible. So you don't want to put yourself in a position to have to do extra work if you don't need to. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.